that was, I tell you, that, regardless of whether we came back to win the game or not, I, I just thought that was a tremendous ball game. What a great college game. Ironically, until their kid dropped the ball and then they, they you know, error, had an error on the relay, I thought it was just such a well-played game, crisply played by both teams. Pitchers were outstanding. John Doc Saxis, who I know well from coaching him last summer, pitched his heart out. Uh, but Zach Hess battled. He didn't have great, great stuff tonight, but he battled hard. And uh, our bullpen was absolutely phenomenal. And uh, of course, Josh had a big swing. You know, we had a, at one point we had I think four hits and at least two or three of them were kind of fortunate for us. You know, they were like, you know, cheap infield hits or whatever, okay? But then I thought we hit a lot of balls really hard off of John. And, uh, you know, unfortunately they were either right at somebody or they made terrific plays. I thought Chris Reed had an RBI single, but, you know, the kid made a nice play and they positioned him properly. We hit a lot of balls hard. He, I thought John Doc Sachs has pitched great, but I also think that our kids competed hard against him. We just didn't have anything to show for it. And uh, and then we got a break. You know, we got a, we got a big break, a little bit of Alex Box magic with the right fielder uh, misplaying the ball and then them messing up on the uh, on the relay. And, of course, Brant's great speed. And I thought Nolan Kane was terrific as the third base coach there. Did it exactly the way you're supposed to. And, uh, you know, and then once we got the game tied, hey, it's, it's now between the bullpens. And their Miller kid is a lot like Fontenot really and we just we just got one good swing on the ball more than they did at the end you know and so uh, we end up getting to go home happy tonight and get ready for a big day tomorrow. How, how quickly did you go from frustrated to happy that Brand kept putting the ball in the air? Uh, I wasn't frustrated at Brand putting the ball in the air because he hit both those balls that he hit really good. The first one I didn't know he could hit a ball that far. I thought the center fielder maybe not wouldn't wasn't even going to get to it. But, uh, you know, he ran it down. And then the ball to right field, he hit good as well. But, you know, Brant's game's got to be putting the ball on the, on the uh, ground. But, you know, when the ball went, he, that worst ball he hit of the three was the last one. And I don't know what happened. You know, I obviously don't know the boy to ask him. But um, I don't know, maybe our fans had something to do with it. I hope that they were, they were into the game and put a little pressure on him. I don't know. I, I'd have to look at the replay to see what happened. But, you know, Brant's, we got a lucky you know, deflection where it went towards the outfield fence and Brant was hustling all the way and has great speed. And then, you know, Nolan was way down the line so he could make a late decision to stop him, which allowed Brant to be well around the base. Once he saw the relay get away from him, he was able, to, Brant was able to react on his own then and, and take home plate. So, you know, it was, I thought it was just a really exciting, tremendous baseball game. And we were very fortunate to win. Seemed like Brant Zach was good. Moving Brandt up to the sixth spot before this game, was that just to split up all the lefties? That's all, That's it, yeah. You know, we just got we got so many lefties in there, and, and uh, I know we're going to, you know, uh, Miller's are they're one of their top two right-handed arms out of the bullpen, so I, I wouldn't surprise to see him. Just I, I wouldn't be surprised to see um, Takedich, I think, is their closer. But outside of that, I'm, I'm guessing that's all we're going to see all week under the left-handers. It seemed like Zach wasn't as sharp as the game went on, but he made big pitches when he had to. Well, that's Zach. You know, I mean, even when he doesn't have his great stuff, and he didn't have great stuff, he didn't walk many batters. You know, I, it's probably my fault he hadn't walked the batter, and then I, I really kind of wanted to pitch um, Blom carefully with the runner on first base and two outs. That kid, you know, he ambushes some fastballs, and he's hit four home runs for him, and the wind was blowing out the left, and I just didn't want to give up a two-run homer, so we kind of pitched around him, even though it put a runner in scoring position, and it kind of got Zach out of a groove, I think, and then he walked the next batter. But getting Shoemake to ground out there with the bases loaded was a huge out, but that's what Zach Hess does. You know, he just, he never gives up. He competes right to the very end, and uh, ultimately gave his team a chance to win the game.